irregular menses, also known as uh, irregular periods, refers to the cycle, uh, refers to the deviation from the typical pattern of a woman's menstrual cycle. A normal menstruation cycle usually occurs between 21 to 35, uh, that 50 days every month, with bleeding which takes 2 to 7 uh, days. So irregular periods can manifest uh, as variation in cycle length, which is uh, unpredictable or inconsistent in bleeding. Uh, also, missed periods come in or unusually heavy or a very light uh, flow. These uh, irregularities can come up uh, due to various factors, and uh, one of which is uh, usually hormonal imbalances. Another thing is uh, stress. Another thing which can cause is medical conditions. Another is about lifestyle changes. So if uh, you are experiencing irregular periods, it is advisable to consult your healthcare provider all healthcare professional for evaluation and also appropriate uh, management. Guys, I want to welcome you to our video today. And uh, the channel is Future Talks. This is where we get to talk matters medical in a very simple language in which we get, we get to easily understand. And uh, today we're going to talk about irregular periods. Kind of if you have not subscribed, I want to encourage you to subscribe for any support for the channel also. Uh, the, we have our details in our uh, channel so that you can get all this uh, to support us. And also give us a nice comment down below, give a like and also share it widely uh, so that you get that's the best way you can get to support us. So guys, what are the causes of uh, irregular uh, periods? And uh, today I'm going to, to, to talk about 16 uh, causes of uh, irregular uh, periods. Uh, that's very important. That's what we're going to talk about uh, uh, today. So number one is about stress. Emotional or physical stress can disrupt your regular or your menstruation flow or menstrual, menstrual cycle. Stress such as uh, when one is uh, under stress, so it can be one of the cause of that irregular uh, uh, period. Another thing is about weight changes. Significant weight gain or a significant uh, weight loss, it can also lead to the problem of the irregular periods. So weight changes, either, po either by gaining or by losing, can be can affect uh, the way uh, the period, period flow is. So weight changes also affects. Also, we have what you call uh, poly polycystic ovarian syndrome is one of the causes of this uh, problem of the irregular periods. So, and it's a very common uh, disorder that can cause uh, the irregular periods. Uh, previously, I've done something on polycystic uh, uh, ovarian syndrome. Can if you have not watched our videos, you can check on it so that you get to know what it means. Another thing which can cause uh, this problem, number four, is about thyroid disorders, things like uh, hypothyroidism and also hyperthyroidism can impact the menstrual cycle. So that's one of the things which you can take note about the irregular uh, periods. So thyroid problems can cause, or disorders can cause that kind of uh, problems. Whether you have a, what you call hypothyroidism or hyperthyroidism, it can cause you to have that uh, irregular periods. So another problem which can really affect uh, the regularity of the period is uh, something I'm uh, talking about uh, what you call uh, eating disorders, where one conditions like anorexia and also bulimia can disrupt the hormonal uh, balance. So those uh, eating disorders, uh, nutritionally they talk about bulimia and also anorexia, uh, you can also find out what they mean, where one you get to eat or, uh, uh, and uh, induces uh, vomiting. Such kind of thing because affects also with the nutritional problems. Uh, those eating disorders can affect how one gets into regular periods. Another problem which we can have is about uh, 
what you call excessive exercise, especially this uh, problem affects the uh, uh, athletic, the, those pe people involved in the strenuous exercises, the, such as athletics, it can affect how one gets to respond to regularity of the periods. So when one is involved in excess exercise, especially the ladies, it can affect the regularity of your, uh, your, your menses. Another thing which can affect the regularity of uh, our periods is what we call birth control. Because of the methods which, uh, especially the hormonal, that's the injection, we have what uh, we call also the implants. Uh, we have the pills, they can affect also the regularity of your periods. They can, some of them can stop you from having your periods. Some can lead to overbleeding or having heavy menses. So uh, always check on that. Another problem or another cause of irregular period is when we talk about uh, medication. We have medications which can uh, affect your menstrual cycle. So it is always good to know, take note with your doctor on whatever medication you are, you may be treating a different condition, but because of the content of the of the of the pill of the of those pills you are taking, it can affect how you are also your fertility or affect your menstrual uh, uh, cycle. Another thing which can cause uh, irregular periods is what you call uh, uterine fibroids. So these are non cancerous growths in the uterus which can lead to irregular periods. And sometimes when we, they are symptomatic, I've done a video previously on uh, uterine fibroids. If you have not watched it, you can go and check on it. So it can also affect, because of the uh, those are growths in the uterus, what we call uterine fibroids or fibroid myomas, it can lead to heavy periods because of the bleeding from those uh, uh, growths from the, in the uterus. So they affect the regularity of, uh, of your periods. Another problem which can cause irregular periods is what you call PID, or pelvic inflammatory disease. So these uh, infections in the reproductive organs can cause irregular periods. So uh, pelvic inflammatory disease is a very common kind of infection especially it's a, a complication of other, uh, other diseases or, or other conditions, such as um, if you have the venereal diseases, they can have, which are go untreated for a long time, they can cause what you call PID or uh, bring about uh, that problem of regular periods at the end of the day. So another problem is what you call endometriosis. Endometriosis is a condition where tissue similar to the uterine lining grows outside the, the uterus. So endometriosis also can lead to irregular periods. Another problem is about the cervical or the uterine polyps. We have some growths which are in the uterus and also outside the, the, at the, at the cervix. So we call them polyps. So there are also non-cancerous growths on the cervix or inside the uterus, so which can also bleed and also bring about a problem of uh, irregular periods. Another um, another cause of irregular periods is when uh, uh, postpartumly or after giving birth, where you get irregular periods are, are, are also very common, especially with the breastfeeding mothers. So breast, breastfeeding also can be the cause of uh, uh, irregular periods because they also can affect uh, the flow of uh, your periods at any, any kind of uh, at the end of the, of the day. And uh, last but not least, the least is about when we talk about uh, chronic illnesses such as uh, diabetes or inflammatory diseases, which can cause also the irregular periods. So we have uh, some complications of irregular periods, and I wanted to share in brief on what uh, it, it also entails. So fertility issues is one is one of the things which can come up with the regular periods because previously we talked about ovulation and ovulation also that is the time one is likely to conceive. And due to uh, when the periods uh, go away or they, they come for a longer time or a lady place for a longer time, it can affect that period where 
now gets to when one wants to conceive, it really becomes a challenge. So this uh, uh, as a complication, we have fertility issues at that particular point. And also as a complication of irregular periods, what we have what you call uh, polycystic ovarian syndrome, which is a common condition that causes irregular periods. I've, uh, I've mentioned it above. And also it can lead to complications like health complications, including the heart and also uh, diabetes at the same time. Uh, so as a complication of irregular periods, POC, PCO, POC, PCOCs can be also, or polycystic ovarian syndrome, can come as a complication of irregular periods. So we also have endometrial issues. Irregular in, or infrequent uh, period may increase the risk of endometrial hyperplasia or the thickening of the uterine lining. And this one can be of a great risk, which can be a precursor to the uterine uh, cancer. So it also becomes as a complication. Another uh, common complication of irregular periods, uh, because especially when we have a heavy flow or uh, lady bleeds for a longer period of time, we said it takes from two to seven days, but there are those uh, heavy periods which come at the end of the day. And what comes out actually during the period is the bleeding or the blood comes out. So anemia becomes a complication of this uh, irregular period. Ovarian cysts can also be a complication of irregular periods because uh, this kind of irregular period can be associated with the conditions like PCO, uh, polycystic uh, uh, ovarian syndrome, so that uh, the ovarian cyst also may be involved. So they mean because of these uh, ovarian cysts being formed from the uh, PCOC, so they, it comes as a complication of uh, irregular periods. Also, emotional distress. The, uh, because of the uncertainty and also unpredictability of uh, the periods uh, can cause stress to the lady and affect the person's quality of life. Especially if the lady has heavy menses and it goes, uh, which go for a longer time, a period of time, that lady is likely to develop some stress over the same. And also about uh, uh, when those periods go for a longer time, I'm um, told the ladies feel very uh, okay. I don't know about you. Maybe you can give me a comment down below. It start, it is a, there's a kind of satisfaction which comes about when a lady gets a flow or gets a period. So when they go missing, uh, that becomes a stress for this kind of a, of, a, of a lady. So we have that emotional distress. Or when it comes for a longer period of time, it's really stressing because also it involves inconvenience in that lady at that particular time uh, because uh, or you always have to change and also ensure that your uh, hygiene conditions are up to, up, up to date. So it is really, uh, it can, can bring about the emotional distress. Also, as a complication, bone health can be a problem also because irregular periods in some cases may result from hormonal imbalances, which can impact the bone health, potentially leading to what you call osteoporosis. So because of the loose, uh, loss of that uh, iron for a long period of time, we may have com bone complications at, the, at, the, at that particular point. So it's my advice, guys, that uh, with those regular periods, it's always good to seek the opinion of your healthcare provider on the cause, to find out the cause and also to seek the best approach on how you can get managed at that particular time so that you get that healthy advice or getting the right treatment so that we don't lead it to complication. Most of the time we want to do the prevention part of it before we get to the complication part of uh, the irregular periods. Guys, welcome and I also want to welcome you to our next video. Thank you very much.